to avoid. African countries have been urged to infuse science in their agricultural activities to help boost their production and cut down on food imports. Experts from the African Union have called on farmers to step up food production in the continent. On average, Kenya spends nearly $50 billion in food imports. When I talk about the catalytic boost, today in Kenya, you are 85% ASAL, arid and semi-arid land. Um, Cairo, Egypt, is far less. But if you go to Nakuma today, you will buy grape juice and milk, ju and milk from Egypt. How is Egypt providing grape and milk? on the markets of Kenya. It's simple technology. Now, if they can do it there, there's no reason why we cannot do it 10 times more here. But the gap is how much science is in the Egyptian system and how much science is in the Kenyan system. And it tells us the gap, the potential that we, can, that we have not covered. So when I talk about the catalytic boost, and I say, in Africa today, my commissioner used to say that hose and cutlasses should be in the museum. How far can a woman with a baby on her back cultivate? How long would it take her to cultivate one hectare of land? Compare that with somebody sitting in a tractor with Starbucks coffee in his hand.